there's an amazingly powerful, free generative AI tool that you've maybe never heard of, and you should probably pay it some attention. So let's take a look at Pika Labs. All right, before we dive in, let me just tell you the basics. My name is Jordan Wilson. I am the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast, free daily newsletter, helping people like you and me learn and leverage AI. So make sure, number one, you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Number two, go sign up for the free daily newsletter. It's amazing. Am I biased? Yes, uh, but it's worth it. All right, so let's talk about Pika Labs. So if you've heard of Runway, Pika Labs is kind of similar, a couple differences. Uh, it's technically a smaller team, you know, probably fewer users, but I think it's just as much worth paying attention uh, attention to. It's a little more limited in features, but it's free and uh, the results are still pretty good. So all you're going to do is go to uh, pika.art, click join beta at the bottom. Uh, this does use mid-journey, so you'll need a... Uh, a or, or, or I'm sorry, it uses Discord, not MidJourney. Those are competitors. It uses Discord, so you'll need a Discord account, uh, but go ahead and uh, sign up for that. It's free as well. And then when you log in, uh, you're going to see something like this. So uh, it's it's pretty pretty simple, but uh, you know if you've ever used Discord before, uh, it should be very easy to get in and use. If you haven't used Discord, it's kind of like Slack. So uh, you'll have your Pika, right here on the left hand side and you're going to scroll down to any of these generates okay so let's just do a uh, quick example um, and see how it turns out so uh, all you're going to do is pick any of these uh, channels so i'm just going to go ahead to channel 10 and then you're going to in the bottom just click dash create okay and then you just type a prompt in so i have a, a prompt saved here so let's go ahead and do that so my prompt was helicopter flying alongside the Chicago skyline at sunset, picturesque, vibrant colors. Okay. Uh, like any uh, Gen AI tool, it's going to take uh, not a couple of minutes, but it's going to take, depending on, you know, what room you're in, how busy the servers are, it's going to take anywhere from, you know, 30 seconds to uh, maybe two or three minutes. Um, so as I'm doing that, let me tell you a couple other things that you can do. Uh, probably one of the most important things uh, in Pika is uh, different commands that you can put at the end. So uh, maybe I should have done this, but uh, a great one is motion. So I believe you can do one through four. So all you do at the end of um, your prompt is you put space dash motion four. So I'm actually going to go ahead and um, change this and type sunrise. And we're going to do it with motion four because our one above is done. Uh, so that wasn't very long. It was only probably about uh, 45 seconds. So let's go ahead and um, we're actually going to click this here and do full screen and take a look at it. So here is our first generation. All right. So we didn't get a, a helicopter necessarily. I think it probably took it uh, as the vantage point uh, of a helicopter, but that's okay. Um, so here's our next one. So we changed it to sunrise. So this one we had sunset. And then we added the uh, per, kind of the parameter of dash motion four. So that is the most motion. Um, and now I'm trying to think if we had to have a space between motion and four. I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out here. So we're going to give it a second. All right, so you'll see here kind of a, a completely different generation. I like kind of, you know, the uh, the Chicago view here. You got the reflection on the lake. So let's go ahead and bring this up. So uh, nothing, nothing crazy here. So we don't have, um, unfortunately, it's taking it from the view of a helicopter. I kind of wanted it to show a helicopter, but don't worry. Uh, I'm going to show you something that you can do here. So actually what I'm going to do now is instead of just using um, instead of just using uh, a video, you can actually use an image as the source for the beginning of your video in Pika Labs. So I have this in Midjourney. This is uh, an image that I created. So I like this one uh, number four right there. So I'm going to click upscale four. So again, this is in Midjourney. We have plenty of videos on our channel uh, for Midjourney. So make sure you subscribe and check that out as well. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, download this image. Great looking image here. So I'm going to open that in uh, right there. There's our image. 
in mid journey. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And then we're going to jump back into Pika Labs. And we're going to do the same thing here. So we're going to type in dash create. Okay. And then I'm going to use that same prompt. I'm going to do motion. I think I do motion four with a space. We'll find out. Uh, but then I can just hit space again. And then this one more button pops up. So when I click that, I can click image. Okay. So now it's going to, uh, I'm going to change this a little bit. I'm going to say uh, Chicago, or, or I'm going to say helicopter flying quickly alongside the Chicago skyline at sunset. And there is our base image. So um, I'm guessing this one's going to take slightly longer, but it still shouldn't be too long. Uh, Pika Labs is actually, uh, it's not, um, it's not not too bad, it's, man. Especially for being a free, uh, a free platform, uh, it's fast. It's pretty reliable. So um, we'll see how this turns out. So again, you can type in anything you want. Uh, another great thing about these channels, well, there's good things and there's bad things about them. So I always try to find one that's a little less busy because it can be hard to keep up with your generations if there's a lot going on. So at least right now, this channel is is not very um, is not very active. Uh, so it should be pretty, pretty easy to find our, um, to find ours as it comes up. All right. looks like we're about done. We're about, there we go. All right, cool. Let's check it out. All right. So as you can see, uh, this is our, uh, base image that we started with in, uh, in min journey. So let's see if we can get a, get a little bit of motion here. All right, cool. So uh, you can see it does kind of a weird little uh, 360 turn, uh, but it looks it looks really good actually. Kind of kind of slow motion. That's okay. But uh, so right now you can see it's limited to only three seconds. Uh, but there's actually uh, plenty of workarounds around this. Uh, you know, actually, um, you know, runway just extended it to where before it was four seconds that you can do in runway, which is you know, like I said, kind of a um, Pika is kind of competing in that space, but I think now you can do up to 16 by stitching some of them together. Uh, unfortunately with Pika, what you would have to do is you'd have to download this uh, video and uh, grab the last frame of the video, which you can do. There's a couple different uh, programs that you can do online, or you can just manually grab it and you'd have to like kind of regenerate um, a couple different and string them together in an external program. So, uh, it sounds, it sounds like a lot, but if you want something basic, if you just want some movement to your images, if you want to push your creativity, uh, I think that, uh, that Pika labs is definitely worth checking out, uh, especially I think in terms of its functionality, um, again, three seconds, you're not going to be able to create anything, uh, breathtaking. Uh, however, even if you can just see, uh, here on the, uh, on the homepage, uh, there's, there's some nice looking short generation. So I definitely think it's worth checking out. Another thing worth checking out our newsletter, go subscribe your Thank you for watching and we hope to see you back for another AI in five. Thanks y'all.